Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make fake cupcakes using foam insulation. Please subscribe if you like seeing this kind of stuff. So you're gonna need some muffin pans, which I got from the Dollar Tree, spray foam insulation, baking cups, a mask, sprinkles, and whatever you wanna to use to decorate, lightweight spackle, which I got from Walmart. You're gonna need piping tips with the bag. I got the kind that come together, gloves, and you're gonna need little fish tank pebbles that I got from the Dollar Tree. So you're just gonna go ahead and add your baking cups. Those are really cute. I got them from Hobby Lobby. Everything is 40% off for Valentine's Day right now. I really liked those too. So cute. You're gonna go ahead and add your fish pebbles to the bottom just to act as a weight. That way when you put them on the, your display, they're not gonna just tumble over because that spray foam insulation is really light. You're just gonna add one to each one. I'm putting on my mask just so that I don't expose myself to any toxic fumes and you're gonna shake that up for a good 45 seconds to a minute. You're gonna add the nozzle tip that comes with the spray foam. You just twist it right on there and then you're gonna start adding it to the baking cups. And you're gonna fill it up like three fourths of the way full because it will rise. So you definitely don't wanna fill it up all the way. And it just goes into there really smooth. It was actually really fun. Does it look fun? If you think it looks fun, then let me know in the comments. So you're just gonna fill up each one Just adding a little bit to the ones I thought that needed it. And then I'm just um, gonna put on gloves. I said to use gloves and I never used them, but you don't wanna get this stuff on your hands because it's super duper sticky. You don't wanna get it on your clothes. So I just use a crafting stick to just kind of smooth it out some, but they don't have to be perfect just because um, you are gonna be covering it with the spackle icing. Just smoothing it out a little bit. So in a couple hours, those are actually completely dry or you could leave it overnight. As you can see, there are kind of some overly lumpy areas. So I just used a crafting blade to just smooth out some of the areas that looked like um, that they were a little too lumpy. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you are gonna be covering it with the spackle. So I just took off some little areas. I used a paint called Latte, but um, I actually ended up going over it with um, Classic Caramel by Apple Barrel just because I felt like this ended up looking a little bit tra too translucent, but you just wanna cover all the visible areas. So that's what I'm doing right now, all the areas of foam that are visible. And then I used Burnt Umber, decided to do chocolate because chocolate is my true favorite. And I just painted that right on there. And it's okay if it's a little messy. I mean, cooking is messy sometimes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just wanna cover as much of that as you can. I thought that ended up looking just like delicious real chocolate. And you're just gonna cover up all those visible white areas. Or you could leave it white if you want it to be like white cake. That'd be fine too. You don't have to cover the very tops. All right, so that's the ones that I put the classic caramel. I've got fake cherries, sprinkles, cake toppers, fake chocolate, and lightweight spackle. And I'm just adding pink parfait, which is my favorite pink color to use for icing. Mix it up in there real good. You wanna add just a little drop. You don't want too much because if you do, it'll make the icing too runny. And then you're just gonna pile it into your packing bag, or not, I'm sorry, your piping bag. And um, I had already started a little bit of it, so I'm just filling up the rest of the bag. And you probably just need a couple cups. So I'm packing that down in there, and I'm just gonna squeeze all of the fake icing to the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna to try to get out as much air bubbles, as many air bubbles as you possibly can. And 
And I decided to just kind of put it in there in like little squirts, just so that it's almost like little petals, like a flower. I thought it was different and cute. So that's the way that I did it. And that's a pretty big tip that I think is perfect for that technique. So I just went around, made my little petals. And I started adding toppings, sprink the sprinkles. These are fake sprinkles from Amazon. The cake toppers, which are so cute. Started adding some of the chocolate pieces and sprinkles to some of them. And they turned out great. So now I'm gonna do the chocolate ones. I have fake cherries from Amazon, sprinkles, or glitter actually. And I decided to just spread the lightweight spackle on. Realistically, if I was making cupcakes, I wouldn't always be piping icing on there if I was doing it in actual real life. And so I decided just to spread it on there. So I'm just spreading it on. And I thought it looked really cute that way. And then after I spread it on, I'm just doing them all the same. So I'm just gonna add some glitter and then add a fake cherry. I thought that looked absolutely delicious. So I'm just doing that for all the chocolate cupcakes. Adding a little glitter and a cherry on top. So I did that for them all. So these are the first cupcakes that I made with the little petals. And then these are the chocolate ones. Please subscribe, like, and press that notification bell.